All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be playing Blade and Sorcery. This is the first ever video I've made on Blade and Sorcery on my channel. Well, Blade and Sorcery, but I have made a um, Blade and Sorcery Nomad video on my TikTok account. Go check that out too. But today, we are checking out all of my mods on my mod list, and I have a bunch of mods for 1.0. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so the first mod in my mod pack, or not mod pack, the first mod we have today is um, Armament Hockey. So this is actually a spell. Um, you guys have probably seen this before. So these are the settings: Invisible Hockey makes the the hockey on your hands invisible, and the Nano Machines Sun. I'm not really sure what that does, but to access this mod, all all you have to do: click your spell wheel, hold it. Then you will see another gravity spell, and this gravity spell is the arm and hockey. So, all you have to do is you equip the spell, and then you just click trigger once, and your hand goes black. This is arm and hockey for one piece. Um, and you can deflect blades with it. So, I'm gonna make an example of that. All I have to do is just get a little dummy in here, come dummy. So, what you can do if I just tap him. Is I'm gonna put it in slow motion, but attack me. I just wanted to attack me. Alright, he won't attack me, but yeah, I can hit the blade without it doing any damage to me. Yeah, so I don't need you anymore. You are of no use. That was arm and hockey um you, i didn't kill that guy um this is all just catch up and the next mod that we have is better performance this is by pie pop 101 and it it just makes like performance better i was pretty laggy before and i'm not really as laggy so then we have not butter stabs or it is butter stabs but here are all the settings for it you can enable it disable it butter materials so basically well, this does. I'll get another dummy in here. Let's do this. Didn't mean to spawn you. Here, let's get a normal dummy in here. God damn it, die. So basically, what you do, you can get any weapon. I'm going to get this dagger. It's my favorite. And all you have to do... Is it makes daggers or it makes stabs smoother? So watch this. It's just super smooth. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. He's dead. Uh, again, all catch up. It's okay, guys. And um, so yeah. Then for the next mod we have is the golem spawner. It says it there. It's not working, but it is. So basically, all you have to do um to spawn a golem is just click enable spawn spawn golem and it spawns a little tiny golem you can make them big or small but yeah they're they're super big normally so yeah this guy's just gonna be please die okay he doesn't die That's okay, you can just wander over there. I'm gonna go all the way over here. So, the next mod we have is Hand Dynamics. So for this mod, all you have to do is get a dummy. Um, I'm just gonna... So basically, what this does, um, enemies cover their wounds. So if I just stab them, then, well, it only works on a combat dummy. So, we'll spawn a combat dummy and all you have to do is do that. And then they like have a dramatic fall and stuff. You're being overdramatic. So, yeah, that. Oh, I guess dying isn't really being overdramatic. But yeah, we're not going to say anything about that. So we got arrow trick arrows. This doesn't work. I'm not sure, like, how this works. Um, you just get an arrow and then you click the spell and I don't know. Then we have dynamic breakables, and I'm going to need a sword for this. I will just use this dagger, and all I have to do is just, 
You know, I'll get an actual weapon for this. Just... <laughs> yep, and now it's broken. You can cut this too. It cuts at any part, and you can pick up the little dagger piece. And you can stab people with it still. So you can do this with any weapon. Even with, like, modded weapons, like this Sphinx. Wait, what is it called? Falx. My bad. So, all you have to do is just grab... Give me the... Okay, so all you have to do is grab a weapon. I'm gonna get a blacksmith hammer. And all you have to do is just... Everything's breaking. So I'm just gonna get another blacksmith hammer. Oh. And now it's broken. So yeah, it's some weapons have more durability. It depends what tier they are. You can see under the tool thing. So yeah, that is hint break, break um design breakables. It, this is all the settings, tier damage, jaw physics. So for jaw physics, I'm going to get a little NPC up in here. Uh, so all you have to do, just like let me get up, let me get up. You're not dead, are you? It's what? Okay, this person will work. You just smack them in the jaw, and their jaw has physics. And you can open their jaw, close their jaw, whatever you want to do. Like this. And you can put, like, knives in their mouths, like Bone Lab. Uh, so yeah. Don't need you anymore, so. I'm just gonna. Yep, so that is that. That is it for draw physics. Then we got player lip sync. As you can see, as you can see, I was using it in the beginning of the video. It's basically your mouth moves with the your voice. And yeah, so we got threat. You saw this a little bit ago. All you have to do is get a weapon, preferably a dagger, just a normal dagger. Then you get a little combat dummy. And what this does, you just grab them by the neck and then you threaten them. Like this. Um, okay, wait, let him get up and then I'll show you. So, he's up now, and then all you gotta do... God damn, stay still. Okay, so all you gotta do is just go like this. And sometimes it doesn't work, but... Yeah, you can kill them, too, if you want to, but... It's supposed to work, all you just do is just put a dagger up to their throat, and they should surrender, but... Uh, most of the time, they don't, because it's, it's a chance thing, but... Then, we have Imbue Sharpen. Uh, what... I'm not really sure how this works, it's not working for me, so we're just gonna skip over that. But then we got NPC spawner. Uh, all you have to do is, it's a spell, so you just go up top. And then, I I have it on trigger, you can set it to different settings. But you just point where you want to spawn them, and then they spawn there. It's just a normal NPC, but you can set their health. <sighs> Broke my axe. They're dead, but, so... That's it for NPC spawner. You can set their health, the select the creature, and the mode. I could, like, select a chicken. Let me select a chicken. Boom. Now there's a chicken. Uh, so, yeah. Then we got realistic bleeding. I'm gonna need another dummy for this. I think you guys have all heard of realistic bleeding before. And basically, what realistic bleeding is, is whenever you cut somebody, I'm going to do it in the face, or stab them, then their wound actually drips blood, as you can see right there, and it also drips blood down their mouth, just like that. They can also get bloody noses, for example. Goddamn. Yeah, so now their nose is actually bleeding, you can see right there, so uh, yeah. You are not needed anymore. So then, we have got Yamato. This is actually, like, a really cool mod. It's probably the best sheath framework I've ever seen. 
and one of the only sheath frameworks I've ever seen in um, 1.0 Blade and Sorcery. So I'm going to show you all the powers of this thing. So first, we need a dummy. Full dummy, full health. So, what you do, you can pull it out of the sheath, and an option, if you hold X on the left controller, or if you click it, then it starts shooting these swords called Mirage Swords. And, yeah, it's basically... It's wherever you're looking, you shoot them. Which I think is pretty cool. And, uh, sometimes it, like, just shoots a lot of them. Oh, okay, yep, forgot to show you guys that one. <laughs> Alright, so, if you want to fly with the sheath, all you have to do is hold trigger while you have the sheath in your hand. Uh, yeah. Then, we actually have the sword. It looks so good. It's really cool, but one of the best freaking um, additions on this is that <laughs> you can cut people up so easily. You can cut their head off, cut them in half, cut their legs off, cut their hands off, doesn't really matter. But an even cooler trick with this, I'm actually going to need the sheath for this. So what this does is when you hold A on your right controller, it doesn't touch them, right? It's just, you think, oh, it's just a glitch. But if you start cutting them, like literally start cutting them, and then you decide to sheath the sword, they die. It's just so cool. Their limbs get cut up like like a minute later. It's just, I just think it's so cool. And basically that's all the features. I'm not really sure to activate some of the other features. So... Yeah, we're gonna head on to the last mod. So the last mod we have is Zendatsu. So what this does is, if you spawn a dummy, for example, a full dummy, and you turn on the spell, which is right here, turn it on, and then you go into slow motion. What you can do, decide, like, you can just cut people open. Now, this thing drops. It's supposed to be their spine. It's really brutal. Well, it's, it's kind of mechanical, so it's not brutal. But then, all you have to do is just click trigger. And I guess you, like, eat it. I don't freaking know. But yeah, you can uh, you can just cut people in half. Get their spine. And once you have enough... Once you have enough of people's spines... I'm pretty sure you need five or so. No, you need more than five. I honestly can't remember how many you need. Well, let me cut this guy in half. Yeah, I'm not really sure why. But yeah, yeah once you get enough spinal cords... Sounds really weird. Um, you can activate a cool, uh, you just go really fast in slow motion thing. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, that was all the mods that I have. I actually have a ton. It's like, it's not a ton, but I have a couple and they're all pretty cool. All right, so I think this is where I'm going to end the video for today. Um, if you guys want to see more of this kind of content and me going live playing it, just go into my channel and sub, like, and turn on all notice. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!